let me recap really quick of everything that I just did because I know it's a lot. Number one, put info director inside your spawn room or anywhere on your level. It doesn't really matter as long as, as this is somewhere in your level. Number two, you have to put a prop door rotating checkpoint inside your doorway where uh, your survivor is going to come out from. The properties are, you have to define a name, checkpoint exit, world model, checkpoint door 01, body 2, 1, then you have to put an info landmark inside the room, inside the spawn point and name it the landmark A. It, it could be anything, but uh, to keep it consistent and to keep it more easier to remember, landmark A. Then all the way on this side we created a room where they, the survivors have to get to and it will be a checkpoint that will switch a level over to another, uh, another uh, map file. And here we created a door, a prop door rotating checkpoint, name is checkpoint entrance, world model is checkpoint door 2, and make sure that the door, the house is facing outside inside I created an info landmark I named it landmark B put it on top uh, on top of the ceiling it is important where you place it it has to be above the player and I also created a no draw brush textured with no draw that completely surrounds the room where our characters have to get to this brush was tied to an entity called trigger change level with a new map name the map name it will change to and landmark name landmark B which is this next we need to create our uh, environment O4B this na map name I mean so I went ahead I already created it's a simple room that came with the map files uh, of the uh, hammer when they were released. So I just uh, took this room and I renamed it so I didn't have to recreate it. And in here, there is a few things. First, you have to have a player start. Landmark. This is the landmark. Landmark B. So, uh, Hammer will know to spawn you in here with this uh, info landmark named as Landmark B from your previous map. You have to put the same door, checkpoint exit, as you did and as you did in the spawn room so this is the same spawn room elements that we had in the previous level with the exception of this has to be changed to landmark B let's uh, put an info director in here and save next we need to compile both of these maps so compile this map and then compile this map so you have both maps compiled after this we are done inside the editor and we need to assign navigational meshes inside our map okay so now I have both maps compiled and what we need to do is build navigational meshes and it's relatively easy to do uh, so let's do that let's get rid of our bots first so let me s stop the director director stop and let's get rid of all of our uh, NPC players our survivors and B delete all now they're gone we can start editing so point at the floor go into you uh, your console and type in nav edit and set it to one now you'll be able to see this little cursor now point to the floor again and type in nav underscore mark underscore walkable generate underscore incremental and what it's going to do is going to sample the walk and space around and it's going to um, place navigational meshes so what we need to do now is deselect, uh, deselect everything navigation nav underscore clear selected set so it deselects everything so uh, point at the floor uh, this is going to be your spawn area so you're required to put two things into this map to make it work one is the player start it's going to be a, a checkpoint and you need to put a checkpoint 
where the map will switch, what we defined in our map in, in the editor, where we build our door and uh, in the finale part of uh, the, the safe house. So point onto the floor and type in. At first you have to select, you have to make sure it's selected. So type in nev underscore toggle in selected set, it highlights it. And now we point again and type in mark checkpoint. Now let's rush over to the other side. Uh, in a previous tutorial I put down finale but you cannot do that if you want to change your map to a new map where there is a change trigger level involved. To do that you have to define a checkpoint. Uh, a finale means uh, your campaign ends. Now to do a level changeover you have to define the space as a checkpoint and not a finale. So that's the main difference. So let's go on the console again, point to the floor and type in nev toggle it's selected. So we have it selected and now type in mark checkpoint. So now we have a checkpoint defined for the end and a checkpoint defined for the beginning. Now the beginning could have been a player start uh, if it's your first map. If it's your first map so there's nothing before it you could have had it uh, set as player start. But uh, for the remainder of the maps it has to be a checkpoint for both locations until you hit a finale which is the end. So now let's and then tap in nev analyze. Now it's working. So now go back and type in nev underscore edit zero. And everything should work. We can start a director but I don't want to. Not yet. So what we need to do now a bots follows, yep. Ev so we know everything works, it, we didn't get any errors. Now we need to go into our second map, which I already have compiled, and do the same thing. So load your second map. So now we're inside the map we're gonna change to. Let's uh, begin by defining our edits again. So you're gonna build navigational meshes for the entire map here. Walkable. Generate incremental. Uh, again, just to make sure that you guys understand, uh, this could be a, p uh, a mark player start if it's your first map that uh, gets loaded into the into the game. If it's a map, it's a second map or a third map in your campaign, this has to be a checkpoint. So let's uh, since this is our second map that we get loaded f into, this is going to be a checkpoint. So let me deselect everything. Selected set, so everything is deselected. Now I'm going to define this as a checkpoint. So let me select this. Toggle in selected set, and then mark checkpoint. And then at the very end, around here, I'm going to define this as a checkpoint that we need to get to. So I don't have a save house for this part, but it's just an example. Yeah, I, I'm going to define this. Select it and mark it as a checkpoint. Save and navigate and analyze. So now we have everything set. Okay, so let's test this out, see if it works, see if we can change the level. Since I, uh, we, we turned it off before, we're going to start it now. So let's begin. Let's uh, rush through our map. And we have to wait for the survivors to get back. And it should work like a gem. Yep. Now we are in the loading screen and see if we start in our next map. That's it. And navigational error because we don't have a, a spawn and this is an in, in, incomplete map. But we have started in our defined next map. That's it.